Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne and today I'm going to be talking about Taurus Trap. It's a little brief plot here. Um, it's two cars full of kids that are going presumably on a road trip somewhere. First car, they have a flat tire with a huge hole in it. So the guy takes the tire solo to go get it repaired. And in the garage he goes to, there's some weird telekinetic force just throwing stuff at him and weird mannequins wearing masks and I'm assuming whatever impales him kills him. The rest of the kids hop in the Jeep and keep driving up the road and of course something goes wrong with the Jeep. They have to stop. The three girls get out and uh, go skinny dipping in a kind of waterfall, beautiful oasis looking place that they find out is on the property of a tourist attraction run by a kind of creepy old guy that just like tells them the whole history of the place while holding a shotgun while they're all in the water, like just above breast level, you know, I I'm sure he, he got a kick out of that and sort of warns them, you know, maybe not hang out here in the dark. You don't want to be around here in the dark. Y you probably want to go. So of course they're there after the dark. Um, <laughs> he takes the dude allegedly to a garage to help fix the Jeep, leaves the girls in the museum, which unfortunately is kind of like a creepy ass wax museum with animatronics and very lifelike creepy mannequins. So they start disappearing, of course, creepy things happen, of course, and there's kind of a, a twist to it, but I'll leave it right there. So I am not a fan of mannequins. This movie made me feel extremely uncomfortable. I fucking hate mannequins. I hate wax figures. I hate animatronic lifelike looking things. I kind of hate statues that look like people. It just freaks me out, makes me feel weird, makes me feel cringy. And I just, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. No, thank you. None for me. So I hated this movie. I didn't hate this movie. That's mean. I, ugh, it got me. It was creepy and gross. It was so gross. Like, I don't know. Out of everything I watch, I watch a lot of really disturbing stuff. And this is the thing that I'm like, <laughs> you know, heebie jeebies. I thought that, um, I mean, the, it worked cause it creeped me out and I, I felt very uncomfortable. The acting wasn't good. Um, the, it seemed like the pacing was really weird. The, the soundtrack was really weird. The sounds were weird. Some of it seemed like the actors were dubbed kind of strangely. There was a lot of weird plot holes that I, I felt like they were plot holes that didn't quite make sense. Um, this is a really fucking weird premise for a movie. I'm just going to say it. I don't understand what I just watched super clearly, but I, I, it's creepy. A lot of the dark shots, I will say, were really hard to see. If you're new to the channel, I am visually impaired. So anything that's not like really nicely lit is hard, you know, to kind of infer movement or what's going on, or if there's someone hiding somewhere. And I know there was a scene where the one girl was in a room and there was a bunch of mannequins and it was really crappily lit. And I'm assuming at one point, like, the, the evil guy's in there, but I can't tell if he's actually in there other than the music. But I, I don't know really what happened in that room. I think there was a red scarf. That's pretty much all I got. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess I do recommend this movie because it's, uh, it's a creepy movie. I don't feel like there's a lot of movies like it. Even House of Wax isn't really, I mean, it's similar. I think that this might have ripped off House of Wax just a teeny tiny lot, a lot. It ripped it off a lot. I'll just say that. Um, but I mean, it's fine. 
I don't mind the House of Wax with Jared Padalecki in it, just because I'm a huge Supernatural fan. But anyways, off topic. Um, I found this movie, again, streaming on the Tubi app, which is T-U-B-I. I will find out and put in the description box below if it's available on any other streaming platforms or in physical copy. I, I don't know that I've really heard too many people talk about this movie. And I'm kind of glad that I didn't know about it till now. Because I, I don't think I would have watched it had I known there was just so many creepy fucking mannequins in it. Yeah. So, now we all know what, what gets me. <laughs> but... If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Please do hit the like button. Leave me a comment down below. What are your thoughts on mannequins? Do wax museums creep you out as well? Ugh. Have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts? Let me know. You can also uh, hit the bell for all notifications of my further uploads and live streams. Leave the video a like. My thought process is just so jacked up right now from this movie. It's so hard to think because I'm just so stuck on creepy ass mannequins with their little mouths opening. It's, oh, just watch the movie. I didn't even give it a rating. I did not appreciate how this movie made me feel. So this movie gets no rating because no thank you. Um, <laughs> you can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Instagram and Twitter at Reanimator. You can also find my reviews solo and with the groom available in podcast form via the Farsighted Network. Also, please check out uh, all their creators. They're super awesome. We're on iTunes. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to sleep with the lights on tonight. Ugh, fucking mannequins. <laughs>